Hello again, Struck Pup. April has already started and so have the tons of releases coming out this month. It is packed to the brim with new games coming um, in April and I've already made my high profile games releases uh, video. But uh, it is time to put the spotlight on the not so well known underdog games. I'll, I'll split that into two videos. This one dedicated to three dimensional 3D underdog games and another one coming later with a uh, focus on the two dimensional 2D underdog games. Keep in mind that this will be a chronological order list except for the first game which will be the one I'm most excited about from this list. So to start things off with that game and then after that it will be based on a release date in chronological order. So I hope you enjoy my suggestions of games to play in April. Uh, underdog games to play in April. Buckle up and let's go. To kick things off is a game I played the demo of a couple of years ago or so. It was a long time ago. It could have been 2020, it could have been 2021, I can't remember. But Zoria Age of Shattering is finally coming to Steam Early Access. Developed by Tiny Trinket Games, published by Unsharp Publishing and Surefire Games. It is a squad-based tactical RPG with fluid turn-based combat, outpost and followers management uh, set in the expansive fantasy world of Zoria. Or Z Z Z Zoria, Zoria, Zoria. <laughs> um, lead a team of four heroes with their unique skills and perks. Every team member contributes to uh, undertaken battles. I really enjoyed the demo and if you want to make sure that it's your kind of game before, uh, ordering it, uh, keep in mind there is a free demo still on Steam and it's probably very updated compared to what I played some time ago. And I still enjoyed um, what I played some time ago. And the release date 27th of April 2023. And uh, yes, you are the commander. There is the world of Zoria. There's dynamic turn based combat, craft, rest, survive, class based accessibility, base management, over missions, and so much more. Um, I think. If they price this game right, um, it should be a big hit, um, a sleeper hit in the making, I think. Uh, if what I've seen in the demo back in the day um, has been expanded and, um, and the game is finally fully ready, I'm not sure why the early access stack, whether there's some chapters missing. So um, I guess I'll have to figure out once the game is out what is uh, in there. Next up, we have a game called Brian Foe, and it's already released since the 3rd of April 2023, developed and published by QWERTY Studio, and mostly negative out of 37 reviews on Steam, not sure what to, to think of that. Uh, embark on an epic journey in Brian Foe, where you gather resources and construct your own village while exploring a vast open world filled with secrets and mysteries. Battle fierce enemies and collect valuable wood in this unique blend of sandbox and RPG gameplay. So the most, um, um, the biggest reason why the game has negative reviews is because it's more of an early access title released as a full uh, release. So I think this is probably a mistake on the single developer, it's a solo dev game. Um, they probably should have released that as an early access title while they keep improving the game for a year or two. Um, and they didn't and that's kind of misleading and I can understand why that. Hopefully the game improves, hopefully because it does look like it has a lot of promise out there um, for a sandbox action RPG with base building. So yeah, Brian Fall already out, but uh, beware, it's, it's more of an early access game even though it's not labeled as such. Next up is an interesting um, comedic, um, I might say, game called Filthy Animals, Heist Simulator. Developed by Pewter Games Studios and Wall Poly Games, published by Green Man Gaming Publishing. It is a chaotic multiplayer heist game for 1-4 to four players. You become a mutant animal working for criminal mastermind Tony as you still fight foe over eat um, tacos while trying to make off with the loot, solve puzzles, avoid enemies and bumble your way to victory, you filthy animal. If it sounds like your kind of game, like your kind of fun, um, if you're into playing uh, some, some semi-casual games, um, this filthy animals high simulator is probably something to look forward to. It's already out since the 4th of April 2023 and until the 11th there's a 20% off 
which brings down the price from 20 to 1560. The next title on this list is Road 96 Mile Zero, the prequel to Road 96. Play Zoe and Kaito where it all started. Challenge your beliefs. Developed by Digi X Art and published by Digi X Art and Ravenscourt. Um, already out since the 4th of April. Very positive um, uh, reviews. 12.96 Euro tag. Um, and it seems fun. It definitely seems like uh, if you're into that kind of genre of games, uh, you would enjoy it. Of course, it's an interesting uh, mashup of genres. Adventure, stylized choices matter, story rich, dystopian, uh, political, there's freedom, there's skateboarding. It's uh, very narrative rich, let's put it that way, and it's a choose your own adventure kind of game. So kind of like a visual novel, which, uh, which again, is not for everyone. Um, definitely not my kind of game, but if you're into that, you might uh, want to check out Road 96 Mile Zero. Next up, we have something a little more grim, Necro City. Uh, developed by Gamperic and Shift Games published by Gamperic. Your main task in Necro City is to push back the hordes of monsters and build your fortress. Defend your, your undead outposts from the persistent forces of the so-called good. Take on the role of the young prince of undead, trying to prove himself in the world of the undead kingdom. The game has interesting um, development, research, skill trees, whatever you want to call it. It will be an early access title coming out as I'm recording uh, on the day I'm recording this, the 5th of April 2023. Um, there is a pro walk, which uh, I'm assuming is free to play, um, or at least used to be. Um, and there is a roadmap on Steam. So if, you, if you're looking for some sort of city builder colony sim with tower defense, base defending kind of management, where you are the prince of um, the undead, so definitely check out Necro City. I did mention this game some time ago, Grimgrad from Jufty Worlds, the Wild Terra um, studio, the studio behind Wild Terra. Build your own Slavic settlement, overcome the hardships of medieval life and don't anger the gods. So if, it, uh, if you're looking for some sort of new city builder um, that's based on the Slavic um, culture and folklore, uh, you might want to check this one. Try to survive the hardships of the Middle Ages and not anger the gods. A story campaign about Slavic deities and survival mode. Lay roads, organize the mining and production of resources, and follow the needs of villagers. Easy to start playing even if you are new to city building games. Defeat pestilence, dirt, hunger, predators, and weather while creating a comfortable environment for the villagers. It should decrease and solve problems such as a fire in a bakery or a pestilence in a residential area. Lots of random events, Slavic gods and creatures from the folklore. So definitely um, a what to look forward to. Next up is Terrascape. Release date the 5th of April as an early access title. Developed by Bitfall Studios and published by Top Leads Productions. It will be an early access game as I mentioned since the 5th of uh, April. Um, city builder with puzzle and strategy mechanics. Very nice visuals by the way. I'm really digging the visuals of Terrascape. So um, if you're looking for um, a new city builder game, that's another one you might want to consider. It does sound, it does seem very, uh, very fun. And there's, uh, you, you can place buildings strategically. You establish your uh, settlements, you draw cards and combine industries with those cards and you expand your kingdom and then enjoy the, the calming uh, world of Terrascape, which definitely looks amazing if I look at the 3D art. And you can also compete with friends and outscore your opponents if you feel like it. Next up is another game that I added in the last moment. In fact, I've added a few games in the last moment uh, just when I thought I, I was ready with um, 11, 12 games. Then I added another and another and another and another. But Raven's Watch was the last game I added to this list. Um, and um, it's developed by Pastech Games, the creators of Curse of the Dead God, which I really enjoyed and published by Nacon. Fallen heroes of old folk tales and legends. You are on the verge of a crucial battle against the nightmare invading and corrupting your world. A roguelike action game, uh, as I mentioned, from the creators of Curse of the Dead Gods. Playable, solo, or in online co op, coming on the 6th of April 2023 as an early access title. It looks fun. Banish the nightmare from your own dynamic gameplay, dark tales, and high replay value. 
which is to be expected from a roguelike, uh, roguelike game. So, um, yeah, after the success of Curse of the Dead Gods, hopefully this one is just as successful and just as fun. Um, if you're looking for a new roguelite game, um, that's one suggestion. I really am digging the style and um, combat animations and skill effects of this one. Now, if you're into golf, well, the official PGA Tour game by EA Sports is coming on the 7th of April 2023. Developed by Electronic Arts uh, Tiburon, um, the exclusive home of the majors, EA Sports PGA Tour features pure strike for superior golf gameplay, powered by Shotlink and unrivaled access to the world's most exclusive golf, golf courses. So yes, do you like golf? Um, if you do, this, this is the game. This is the home of the majors. Um, not sure what that Shotlink is, but it's an interesting, uh, interesting technology which provides unique golf swings with a fluid feel and realistic outcomes on every golf shot. Um, your career, your way, and uh, it's the, the world's most exclusive courses. Um, there's 30 of them. 30 of them, and it's also using the Frostbite engine, by the way. Um, EA's proprietary engine, so if you're uh, looking for something to play with the Golf attached on it, that's the game. Are you fans of the Sherlock Holmes um, War franchise, but also of Lovecraftian um, visuals and, uh, and horrors? Well... Sherlock Holmes The Awakened is uh, a nerve-wracking Lovecraftian adventure that built from the ground up with modern graphics and gameplay. Become Sherlock Holmes and find yourself at the heart of the terrifying Tuhu mythos as you investigate a series of mysterious disappearances in Europe and the US. Coming on the 11th of April 2023, developed and published by Frogwares, there is a downloadable, playable demo on Steam. Uh, so you might want to check that one out to see if it's your kind of game, but it definitely looks fun. Um, there's a lot of platforms for this game. Steam, um, GOG, um, Epic, PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series XS1, Switch. Um, so Lovecraftian visuals with the detective um, mechanics you would expect from a game with Sherlock Holmes in the name. Um, if you're looking for something like that, definitely check out Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Table them. An interesting uh, game with an interesting game um, name. Once upon a village set in a wholesome fairy tale world, Fabledom is the ideal laid-back city builder. Enjoy the growth of your settlement, trade and use diplomacy to ally or challenge your neighbors. And most importantly, find yourself a prince or princess and live happily ever after. Releasing on the 13th of April 2023, developed by Grena Games and published by Dear Villagers and Doyoyo Games. And there is a downloadable playable demo on Steam. And the game is an early access title, so keep that in mind. And again, sandbox relaxing city builder to chill with uh, while playing. If that's that's what uh, you're itching for, definitely don't miss out on checking Fable them. Next up, we have a PlayStation 5 only title, a prequel, mind you. R-Type Final 3 Evolved for PlayStation 5 is coming on the 25th of April 2023, developed by Granzella Incorporated. Uh, it is the ultimately evolved side view shooter and it's um, going to, to come, as I mentioned, to PlayStation 5 only. It features a VR launch sequence mode to experience a launch demo scene in VR. It has a metaverse space in which players can exchange strategies and enjoy mini games. It also serves as a lobby for the competition mode where you can compete with multiple players for scores. So if you're into some side uh, scrolling uh, shoot 'em up, um, the release date on the website says March 23, 2023, uh, whereas I have a 25th of um, April. So I'm not sure which uh, date to trust. But um, I'm not seeing the game as, as still um, of, of officially playable, so probably it just got delayed by a month um, and a couple of days. But in general, if you're looking for something like that, R-Type Final 3 Evolved is your next uh, PlayStation 5 game to play if you want to shoot them up. Great Blade is a very interesting title, developed and, uh, co and published by um, Embers, so um, through indie game it seems. Releasing on the 25th of April 2023, explore a darkened um, 
Oneiric world of rampant nature and corrupted cities, embody a tiny being of light on its path towards awakening. Fight your inner demons and restore your balance. I'm really loving the visuals of this game. There is a free playable demo on Steam. Uh, and the game will be coming to Epic, GOG, PlayStation 5, 4, Xbox Series X, S1 and Switch as well. Since Switch is there, I'm assuming, um, and um, other previous gen platforms, I'm assuming it's probably um, better optimized um, than your um, average recent release. So it seems fun. It seems like there's fun combat. It seems a little bit Souls-like, so hopefully it's not too difficult. Um, but if you're looking for new dark fantasy story rich souls like third person um, action RPG, Trade Lights is something to, to look out for. Next up we have a game called Arc Runner by Trick Jump Games LTD and published by P-Cube. It's an action roguelike cyberpunk third person sci-fi um, shooter with online co-op um, and very nicely stylized so there's PvE. There's a gun customization, procedural generation, all sorts of things. Reset the AI gone rogue as you traverse the space station, the Ark, in this beautiful cyberpunk style action roguelike set in the far future. Start each run as an augmented cloned human and save the Ark from destruction. Sounds like your kind of game? Well, there's three classes, there's all sorts of other things to enjoy. So if you're looking for uh, something new, um, including um, co-op that you can play, um, definitely don't miss out um, on Arc Runner. You have Soldier, you have Hacker, um, and another uh, class um, to, to play with. There's Augments and um, Skills and Gadgets and all sorts of good things. So, if that's your cup of tea, make sure to check out Arc Runner when it's out. Brambo the Mountain King is a very interesting title. A uh, grim adventure set in a world inspired by dark Nordic tales, fables. Explore the beautiful yet dangerous and twisted land of Brambo in your endeavor to rescue your sister. Traverse a wondrous landscape and survive deadly encounters with Brambo's many hideous creatures. Releasing on the 27th of April 2023, developed by Dim Frost Studio and published by Merch Games. Atmospheric, cinematic, 3D experience, dark fantasy, um, war and story rich and their survival horror and exploration and it's a linear uh, game with um, choices matter with very beautiful art um, I'm also digging the 2D art that, that I could find on their website and on their social media media so definitely check out uh, Brembo if you're looking for the uh, one such type of a game to play the last but not least game of this list is the last case of Benedict Fox Take on the last case of Benedict Fox and drive into a twisted world of secret organizations, forbidden rituals and cold-blooded murders. Explore the memories of deceased victims as you search for clues and fight demons in this fantastical Lovecraftian metroidvania. Developed by Pot Twist, published by Rogue Games Incorporated and releasing on the 27th of April 2023. Atmospheric, metroidvania, Lovecraftian, uh, again... Um, um, Dark fantasy, 2D meets 3D action uh, roguelite um, with some side-scrolling kind of um, visuals. I think it's fun, I think it's nice. Um, I, I put it in the 3D list because I think it fits the 3D list more than the 2D list. Um, and um, if you've played the previous Benedict Fox games, you probably know what's up. Um, if you haven't, well, um, check out some trailers, check out some gameplay footage, it does look fun. It definitely looks fun. To get notified when I upload more content like this one or other builds and guides for water and not so water games, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to not miss out on notifications. As well as uh, keep in mind there's something called memberships on YouTube which lets you be a paying member for my channel to get access to perks such as emotes and badges made by me as well as the option to get one-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring for the very basics of Adobe Photoshop, Premiere and After Effects. And memberships can be cancelled at any time if you no longer want to be a member. Uh, thanks for watching all the way until the end. Struck up, keep it cool, until next time and goodbye.